Testing, hey testing. guys, Jackie Emma, you're doing so um, excited to have you with us again for Masters of Malaysian Cuisine Series 5 and we are on session 5 and tonight, night time in Sydney at least anyway, we've got Chef Bob, the amazing Chef Bob and he's going to be making a Hello. lot of my favourites <laughs> and Chef Bob is going to be making Mirabus What's that? Gearbox. I had to actually ask them what gearbox means. And also we have Renee Jufri from Dubai and Renee is going to be co-hosting. But let's um, quickly play a quick clip from Tourism Malaysia and uh, we'll come back in a sec and talk a little bit more. In the meantime, make sure you say hello and let us know where you're watching from. All right. We'll see you back here in a couple of seconds. Yay, guys, back again. I'm Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. And by the way, if you haven't already signed up to our website, malaysianchefs.com slash join today is where you do so to get access to all our recipes. And in particular, EMAG4, which has just been released and courtesy of all the hard graphic design layout work by our own uh, Chef Norman Musa. Okay, so make sure if you do have an account, go to malaysianchefs.com and go to the member login and log in and access your magazine now. If you don't have an account, go and uh, to malaysianchefs.com slash join today to create one. Okay, and uh, yeah, say hello, guys. Let us know where you're watching from and just do a hashtag live watching this live, hashtag replay. We're watching a replay. And guys, like I said, we've got the amazing Chef Bob in. Kuala Lumpur and the fantastic Renee Jufri in Dubai. I'm going to let you guys take over and I'll come back and um, catch up with you guys in a little bit. And guys, like I said, thank you. So, how is it been going over there? All good? All good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chef Rene, how are you? Yeah, good, good, good. So for all the viewers, hi, uh, hello again. All right, uh, good afternoon. All right, that's uh, okay. Okay, afternoon in uh, Dubai, uh, twelve in the afternoon. For Chef Bob, it's already in the evening. I say it's already right. four o'clock. Yeah, almost at the end of the afternoon. Uh, for some yes. part of the world, you know, uh, in Australia, it's already almost in the evening. I would say, and then uh, some part in Europe, maybe still early in the morning. Or even uh, maybe in the uh, US is uh, late night, right? So maybe some of our viewers uh, that you know join us uh, keep on following us on uh, MYMC. So welcome back again. MYMC Monday is back today. On series five with uh, noodle Malaysian noodle specials. So today we have Chef Bob. Okay, uh, he's preparing this something special. He's a mirror box. Gear box. So Chef Bob, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's okay. What what do you have for us today? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much, um, uh, MOMC. Okay, and then thank you very much, Terry Malaysia. Today, uh, I'm going to prepare uh, one noodles. Uh, that this noodles is, has been uh, a special one because we have a gearbox. What is a gearbox? It's actually it's a beef shank. Okay. okay, let me have a look. Okay, if you see here, look wow. at here. Yeah. See the big one. Ah, so today we have three big size here. So for us to do a mie rebus. Okay. Okay. So all right. Gear box. So meaning uh, gear box. So it's the heart of, for example, from the car, right? The car you have gear box. So that's the. <laughs> the we we, we the call it move. gear box because it looks like you know when the engine bring out from the car is yeah. is like a big one yeah. gear box. That's why we call it gear box. <laughs> Actually, it's a beef shank. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we can, can do. So the best thing is uh, today, uh, except we have beside of this, uh, 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 beef uh, this uh, beef shank, this uh, gearbox, we we have prepared already a few uh, ingredients that to share to everyone. Okay. So first of all, of course, we need to have uh, uh, me uh, this uh, yellow noodles. 
that we've been blanched already. Okay, so I already blanched to make it easy. So also I have a, I already boiled already the beef. Okay, this beef uh, actually is sponsored by Escola Beef. Okay. Uh, it's one of the local beef. It's same thing with this uh, uh, the gearbox, uh, the beef. Yeah. So thank you very much, Kola Beef, Kola Meat, uh, Dato Rahman and also Mr. Karim. Thank you very much, Mr. Jamal. Thank you very much. And then once we are boiling this one, this, okay, this uh, uh, gearbox, uh, this uh, beef shack, this one, I already boil it and mm -hmm. we need to have, sorry, today, just for your information, <laughs> I bring my assistant here because I have some injury in my hand, so I cannot carry yeah. too heavy. All right. Same so, way with the injury, uh, even uh, Shankpop still uh, make it happen for all the viewers of MYC, right? Definitely. <laughs> That's semangat yang penting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is the uh, juice, uh, the yeah. braised beef, that one I already keep it, that we can <laughs> use for the noodles later on. Okay. How long, then, how long did uh, you, you brace the, to get the stock? Okay, this one I'm using a pressure cooking, pressure okay. cook. So it's about uh, 45 minutes to one hour, okay. done. But if you use a manual one, it's going to take about uh, more than one hour. I think about two hours, something like that, because the size is very big. Mm -hmm. And then definitely to do this meal rebus, you need to have a sweet potato. Okay. And are using a potato. So sweet potato, I already boil it, make it soft. Later on, we're gonna blend it, become a puree. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe you can have a look here. Or oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the sweet potato and the potato both you mix it together. Yes. So the rest, I will show it to you one by one, because we need to have uh, the paste. We need to have a uh, dry shrimp. This is the things that we need to blend. Eh? Uh, dry shrimp. Oops, onion. If you want to make more sweet, you can use more shallot. It's much more better. Okay. Okay. And then we need to blend uh, uh, lemongrass. lemongrass. Yeah. Uh, ginger. Okay. Uh, galangal. Mm -hmm. And then also about 10 pieces of uh, garlic. Yeah, and then I have a, a dry chili that we've been boiled. We make it soft and take it out the seeds. And then we keep it like this because we need to blend it. And we're using uh, uh, curry powder, meat curry powder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to blend it. So uh, now blender, we, have, we put uh, it in the blender. Chef Joe watching, he says it's down, just heavy downfall just now. It was raining in Malaysia? Hey, oh, okay. Yeah, it's already cloud outside there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, we put it this uh, galangal. We cut it a little bit small. So easy to blend. Ginger. We put it inside. So uh, garlic, about 10 pieces. And then onion. If you don't have the onion, the, the big the red onion you can use shallot or you can holland onion also can okay. but it's possible if you use shallot it's much more better okay so it gives more, more sweet. sweetness to yeah okay more flavor then definitely yeah okay so yeah uh, junaida. junaida saying hi from Shah Alam. So, oh junaida yeah junaida, junaida. hi uh, from uk you have any now uh just woke up morning to all watching from live from uk yeah Okay, don't forget the chili. Okay. Put it inside here. And then meat curry powder, I blend together. Some people, when they get it blended, they put they saute it, then they put separate of the uh, uh, curry powder. But for me, it's the same thing. We just put it inside, we blend together. Okay, okay. and the dry shrimp. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also a few in recipe, they also using a blachan. Okay. I don't want to use a blachan, shrimp paste. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember Chef Joe when he's talking about blachan. 
<laughs> so you, 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 if you can't get from uh, what do you, what do you call it from uh, belajar from Tanjung Tanjung Dawai. Yeah, from Tanjung Dawai. So you don't you don't uh, use it at all, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to blend it until it become really puree. Okay, yeah. So, so for then we start yeah. to heat the pot to saute. So, which oil are you using, Chef, for today's cooking? Okay, let me, uh, I can heat it now. Okay. So for all the viewers, we just uh, do it now. So, welcome to my So, who just tune in, please, uh, guys, uh, tell us. Uh, and tell us where are you watching this uh, from. All right. There are various parts of the world nowadays, uh, all the viewers. So, just tell us where you're from. Any question, uh, write it up, and then we'll try to accommodate as much as possible. All right. All right continue, Shabbat. Okay, Chef Rene, now the all the ingredients already blend. Okay. Ginger, galangal, dry chili that been uh, boiled, yeah. dry shrimp, shallot, uh, and then also garlic, yeah. lemongrass. So this is what uh, uh, okay. is ready blend. So what we need is we need to cook it, the paste. So right. you're using uh, just uh, normal corn oil or vegetable oil for this? Or? Normal cooking oil. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, nice. So we need to cook this uh, a quite bit of time. Mm -hmm. uh, around, because we need to uh, spread the uh, pecah minyak. What we call it pecah minyak? Yeah, you split the oil. You want, you want the oil? Yeah, split the oil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important, uh, especially yeah. in our cooking. You know, most uh, if all the viewers who just uh, follow us from the beginning until now, you notice that any paste that we cook in Malaysian cooking, you have to cook it till the oil splits, right, Chef Bob? It's one of the... Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. So really need to uh, cook very well. Wow, see, he's you're already bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> ah. yeah. The so oil water from... Uh, there were the onions and everything, yeah. It does that. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Chef Bob, okay. Um, we have from uh, a question from Haim. Which is better, orange or white colored sweet potato for your dish? Uh, actually, uh, it depends on the where where the, the, the potato, the sweet potato. Normally, in the Europe, they always have the the yellow one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I always using the orange one, yeah, uh, because it's more uh, sweet. It's more uh, flavor of a uh, potato. is is more more rich. Yeah. All right. Uh, so okay. We have Nora Baldwin from uh, New Zealand saying, uh, "Go, Chef Eddie." <laughs> oh, that's my schoolmate, Nora. <laughs> See, you, you have all your followers uh, starting to tune in now from every parts of the world. Junaida from Shahala. Oh. <laughs> from Malacca as well. Uh, oh, yeah, Malacca. Go, Malacca. <laughs> yeah, Mark really, Mark, 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 Mark. Oil. Okay. So your pace is uh, start to bubbling up. Uh, yes. So to, to I need sure to cover it for a while. Yeah. Okay. I uh, see so you have even uh, Chef Zaliha from uh, Bristol already tuning in. Waking up in the morning to, to catch Chef uh, Bob's uh, mirror post. Uh, oh, thank you, Chef Zaliha. So you have uh, Chef Shafiq. Uh, he's saying mirror post, your Bob's the best of Chef Bob. So maybe he have tried oh. uh, Chef your mirror post uh, before. <laughs> thank you, Chef Shafiq, for watching. Don't worry if you want the lamb shank, come here. PJ SS2. So for all, uh, you know, for the all the viewers are watching, uh, for the, who just tuned in as well. All right. Um, so Chef Bob is preparing for us uh, today. Again, uh, Chef Bob, uh, tell us what, what you have uh, for us today. Again. How is it? 
Uh, so for some of the viewers who just tuned in, right? So just tell us a little bit of uh, what are you preparing for us again today? Oh, today I I do it. Uh, I'm cooking for me rebos gearbox. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, actually. We don't need to have a gear box. You can have a, a meat, a sliced beef, something like that. If you go in the north of uh, Malaysia, in Kedah, in Penang, there they call it uh, uh, mi. What we, what we call it? Uh, mi, mi kuah. Mi you know? Kuah. Yeah, they call it mi kuah. Uh, if uh, in the Johor and South one, they call it mi rebus. But myself, I mi rebus. I put it this uh, uh, gearbox, this uh, a shank, a beef shank. So we call it uh, uh, beef uh, apa? gearbox. Mm. So it looks more appetite when you eat. It's yeah. gonna be like a uh, uh, really big, uh, huge uh, the bones portion. Coming out, the shank, yeah, it looks big. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. your 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 cooking has always been, you know, uh, using up uh, parts of meats. I noticed. Like uh, the, the dictatorial parts where that was for oxtail. Now you like to use oh, the, yes. the shank. That, that one is a favorite. Yeah. Favorite part, oxtail, ox tongue, yeah. uh, this uh, shank, this uh, gearbox, uh, all that one is all my favorite. If yeah. Melaka, if people Melaka, this is the the, the, right. the, the thing that we always, always use. Yeah. Okay. I will show it to you while I put it a little bit of uh, oil because still bubbling. Okay. Otherwise, it's all spread everywhere. So I will show it to you when it's all okay. Yeah, Meng Tan, uh, say hi from Penang. Chef who? Uh, Meng Tan from Meng Tan. Your viewers from Penang. Oh, Meng Tan. Yeah. Okay. And, and Sheng Chef, oh, greetings from UK. You know, see all, all the viewers are starting to come in to join you. To all right. Show. Okay, guys, you can try this one at uh, at your home. Very easy uh, to cook mirabos. If you don't have the beef shank, this gearbox, you always can use uh, a normal beef. You can use slice. You just boil it the beef, take the the stock, and then you can use it. And then you just need to have a sweet potato and potato. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile, there, there's, uh, uh, there's cooking. I also need to have blend this uh, sweet potato okay. and, and also potato uh, that I've been boiled to make it soft. Okay. okay. So you boil the uh, potato prior and then now you're going to blend it? Yes. Can you, can you steam the potato rather than uh, boiling? Also can, but uh, if you steam, you still need to have to put the water because we still need to have a water because the water, when you boil it, the sweetness and then the, the taste, the flavor of sweet potato is there. Okay. If you put it in the oven, straight away in the oven, they don't have a, a water. So I need the water that one to blend it. Okay. Uh, to, the flavor is there. So if, if you see yeah. you, you bake the potato, then after you have to add a little bit of water just to make sure that you get you it. Yes. Okay, I got this one. Another uh, five minutes gonna be done for this uh, paste because if you get that, it's all jumping there. Yeah. <laughs> Once that's bubble up, yeah. Your, your fresh ingredients, the oil, the heat. So you have uh, Yen Shayen in Sarawak. Uh, they call it Mi Jawa. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you. Mi Jawa. Mi Jawa also is almost the same uh, ingredient, but uh, I think uh, they they are different a bit because Mi Jawa we don't have a peanut. So in my recipe here, I always use this this peanut, which is I gonna put later on. Uh, so Shabu, you have Magnim uh, asking how long does it take to cook your gearbox until uh, or boil it until it's tender? You say earlier you use okay. Uh, if this gearbox actually uh, is take about if you using a uh, pressure cook, pressure cooking, it only takes about 45 minutes. Very fast one. But it depends on the size, uh, uh, how much or how big the size. If like this, if you see like this, yeah. it's got, I take it this one around uh, about 45 minutes to one hour. Pressure cooking. Yeah. 
Okay, if normal uh, boil, you boil it, I believe it's going to be take about almost two hours. Yeah. Yeah, because we need to put water, the, 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 uh, the reduce, and you still need to put uh, water again. Okay? Yeah. All right. So, meanwhile, it's already half cooking. I think can open ready. Maybe I can open. I'm going to put uh, this uh, roasted peanut. Actually, this roasted peanut, you can, can ground normal roasted peanut. Uh, let me show it to you guys. Okay, you can use, I show it to you here. All right, roast, normal roasted peanut, you remove the skin and then you grind it. Okay. So now the, the peanut so is ready to grind it, yeah? Take like this. Okay, yeah. Is it yeah. Costly, yeah. Powder, costly grounded or until it's powdered? You can also compound that. You can boleh tumbo or you can using a blend. Okay. Yeah. So we have right. a question just now from uh, one of the viewers asking, uh, can we use also this uh, purple uh, potato? But it's going to uh, look a little bit more purple to your dish, right? Okay. If I never tried purple potato, but I also thought to use uh, purple potato because I was thinking, if I use Mirabo using purple potato, what it gonna be? But I'm not ready to use it to show it to you guys because I need to do R and D. Uh, then see how is it. But I think uh, purple potato uh, doesn't have a, a taste, a sweet taste like a sweet potato. Yeah. Yeah. Because purple potato is still a potato, but it's uh, the taste maybe is a normal like a normal potato. Only the color uh, uh, purple potato. Yeah. Maybe also for, I would say, because I, I've been using quite a lot of purple potato previously before in the restaurant. Uh, it's a bit more powdery, a little bit more dry, if you notice. So it can be, uh, I would say, texture-wise as well, a lot of water, okay, maybe on that end as well. It will be a little bit different. Okay. Okay, it's all, all almost. If you can see now. Yeah. I can. Okay, let's look at that. They become red color. And then the curry powder, the smell of the nuts, the smell of the dry shrimp, the smell of the from galangal and the ginger is all yeah. there. Ah. So now, now okay. the whole I, I, can you. I cannot hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can see, yeah? Yeah. So all, all yeah, the things are really cook, well cooked now, right? The oil has cleaned as well. And that's the most important uh, process that you need to, to see. Okay, now. Before we put it, this uh, sweet potato and potato that uh, I've been blend just now, we have to put the stock first. Okay, the stock from the we boil it the uh, gearbox and the beef. We add it inside. Okay. So the Shafiq uh, said you to miss, uh, yeah, until the bow reach to this case. So he said uh, <laughs> you were, you were sorting your base until it. Ah, uh, tell Chef Shafiq, you need to come here. Your place and here not so far. Okay. All right. So now you you gonna boil boil the uh, stock again or? Okay, we need to boil the stock again. Yeah. Let it boil for a while. Okay, and with this, with this potato and then also uh, sweet potato, they will thick, make it, the sauce will become thick. Okay. Yeah? So if uh, someone... So far, any question, Chef Rene? So far, so good. Uh, maybe, you know, if, if for uh, someone who's allergic to peanuts, uh, they can just opt for the peanuts, right? They can uh, remove the peanuts. Okay, I have... I have a they, they have a question also. They asked me before. They said, uh, "Chef, uh, if you don't have a peanut, can you use a cashew nut?" They said uh, using almond nuts or whatever it is. I said, "Up to you. You guys want to use or not? Up to you." Uh, but I'm not. Don't use it a pistachio nut. Okay. <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and also, and also. Uh, is it, the flavor is not rich like a, a nuts, normal nuts. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Maybe macadamia. Macadamia also is good. It's very uh, creamy flavor, but also expensive. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, meanwhile, this uh, uh, making on the sauce, make it boil. I start to uh, fry the beancurt, hard beancurt. So that hard beancurt is for? For garnish. Uh, on top, when before we serve, uh, once ready, everything's ready in the bowl, we slice it, we put on top. Yeah. So today I'm really cooking, you see. <laughs> They said also on my head also we have. <laughs> uh, really cooking now. Yeah. Okay, let me wash so, my hand. For all the viewers of Back to Series 5, now uh, we have uh, all the chefs cooking special uh, noodle dishes from Malaysia. Uh, sharing you all the recipes so this is all about series five noodle about noodle and by the way uh series four uh emac is already out right chef bob is already out on our website yes and, uh, it's already out dot uh, malaysian uh chef dot com slash joy today who was uh, still not a member or who still did not uh sign up with us so please uh, go ahead uh, go to our website so you will get a chance to get hold of all the recipes that have been done in series four uh, series 3 even you can go back uh, 3 and 2 and even 1 right uh, now we need for series 5 but now uh, we still have another few more sessions for series 5 and back to Chef Bob so what are you going to do next? Okay oh, the okay. next is I'm going to put uh, to add this mash uh, sweet potato and the potato inside yeah. that I've been blend just now yes. so you have here some yeah. best hello chefs uh, that is one big pot. Is it for the whole kampung? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If uh, Chef Bob, when he cooks, he will cook a lot. You know, I, I noticed that he will cook a big pot because he loves to share all his uh, Finnish uh, cooking for all the team, for the family. That's what he does. In front of me, got one, two, three, four, five, and six people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They're all waiting for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Everyone okay, let, lunch let it boil a little bit yeah. because before the uh, later on, we're gonna add uh, a few things. We're gonna add the gula melaka. Okay, okay, uh, this gula melaka actually you can put straight inside, but it's too big. I cut it half or cut it four. All right, so for uh, the gula melaka, so for, for maybe some of the people from other parts of the world. You can replace it with this palm sugar, normal palm sugar or brown sugar. Okay. But why I use this uh, uh, palm sugar, this gula melaka, is more the sweet, uh, the flavor, the rich of uh, when bind together with inside, it's going to be a wonderful taste. Okay. I understand. Uh, uh, in outside abroad, like in the Sydney or maybe this uh, Amsterdam, equate to get this uh, gula melaka, right? Mm -hmm. So you can replace it uh, palm sugar or something brown sugar. Yeah, so palm sugar is something already uh, quite similar and also available yes. in the market around, uh, especially in Europe around the world. So you can offer Definitely. that. Yeah. Gula melaka by itself is actually from Malacca, uh, a region or part from uh, Malaysia that's uh, producing this palm sugar, very specific palm sugar and yes. uh, it's the best that, that you can find. So it's from Malacca itself. Yeah. Okay, the tip is uh, for the gula melaka, if you want to buy, okay, the gula melaka, need, when you buy, you need to be soft when you buy. It cannot be very hard because if it's very hard, they have a grade they, because they already add with the normal sugar. Uh, right. Okay, so it's not nice. Sometimes, you know, when you cut it, when you cut it, it's like stone. Yeah. So this is not good. I mean, that one is already added a uh, normal sugar. Okay, okay. So that's uh, a good tip. Here, you see? It's very soft. See? Yeah, it's brittle, so you can break it. Eh? So, uh, Chef Bob, you have uh, Kak Hamima saying, uh, Chef Bob, any delivery or no? <laughs> do you do delivery? <laughs> very far, uh, ni Kak Hamima, uh, Dato' Hamima. Very far. Kalau dekat-dekat ni boleh, I hantar guna lalam, lalam move, grab food pun boleh. Inshallah, nanti habis uh, finish finish the MCO, I'll come the Kuantan, I cook for this. 
Yeah, so maybe you know that there's a lot of uh, people waiting if uh, Chef Bob can deliver to them. You know. <laughs> okay, now we add the gula melaka. Okay. Okay. Inside. Yeah, so Chef Bob, uh, okay, what your one of your camera is already out, uh, the one connected to your speaker, yeah, so to your audio. So, yeah, so for all the viewers, all right, okay, we're back, we're back, okay, good, okay, back, all right, good, <laughs> okay, okay, now it's ready, start to simmer, start boiling, yeah. we can put this, we can add this, uh, uh, the big one heroes here. Ah, now, now it goes. Okay, in. look at that. Let it boil here. See, one. I'm gonna put another one. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Let here. me pull it. Yeah. Oh so yeah. Your, your gravy starts to look uh, becoming more thicker. I think it's from the yes the potato earlier. The nuts. Okay. It's, it's going to be because when we reduce, when we start to boil it, the starch of the potato, the starch from the potato and the uh, sweet potato become a band together and become thick. Yeah. All right. So you, you, you're thickening up your, your gravy with uh, the potato itself, right? You don't use any yes. Like, like, Potato starch or any corn flour? No corn flour. I this one I will keep it for tomorrow. Yeah. You know, they still can use it uh, uh the next day much more better because it's become thick and then you just need to add a little bit of water. Okay. Yeah. So you skim a little bit all the uh, the scum on the top. Yeah. Uh chef pop your camera, okay. Your your camera's gone black again, so I think it's just quality. Okay. All right, it's back. All right. <laughs> so, as you mentioned, you you were removed. Okay, now you're removing your the, the scum. Yes. All right. Remove all the scum. What what will happen if uh, if you don't remove it? Okay. Uh, if you don't remove it. Is uh, this come? I believe to make uh, this thing become too sour, okay. and uh, it's very fast to get. Uh, uh, what we call this? You cannot. You cannot keep it for the for the next day. It become basi and uh, very fast to bo bubble. Okay. You know. And so, uh, we have also a little bit of uh, oil because from the beef, mm -hmm. from the shank, from the gear box, right? So the, the okay, this comes kind of. Uh, actually will make your your gravy uh it will spoil faster this point yes right? yes okay. all right yeah up your your the, the camera, camera. Is going on uh, okay they, they're up. fixing <laughs> they start to fixing them up okay. in up, up in a, uh that's the that's the beauty of uh, doing live live yes <laughs> all these uh, are not expected but again the excitement of uh the, the live cooking and also to see all these uh, nice ingredients Chef Bob is cooking. So anyway, we still have the the, the, the most important view, which is on the pot right now. All right. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let it little bit. The oil is so should be okay. That is a flavor. Okay. All right. Ah, so, I didn't uh, add a salt seasoning yet. Okay. But the smell, whew. <laughs> be careful. Uh, people uh, have a <laughs> gout. Yeah, okay. Uh, very hard to get this. And eat this one, another 15 minutes, gone. <laughs> that, you, you have, you have your medicine ready on the side. Yeah. <laughs> you have Mama okay. Pelly watching from uh, BB, uh, You have Bibi Vita, uh, our follower from Germany. Okay. After that, yeah. we're going to start boiling this one. I add tamarind juice. Okay. Okay. 
to make it little bit a uh, bit sour yeah and That's more good. sweetness from the potato and also the flavor from the stock of the beef okay oh yeah by the way the when you you boil the, the beef before when you did the stock do you any salt with it did you season the stock or no it's a plain okay i didn't put any salt or sugar when i uh braise the boil the uh gear box we just plain okay. Huh? okay then i add little bit of coconut sauce coconut milk sorry yeah just a bit not so much that's obviously okay. a fresh uh, fresh coconut milk from malaysia so uh, can you can you use the any kind right can or any kind if you have a fresh one it's much more better uh, the flavor also are going to be very nice okay let it mix well See, there's a lot of viewers uh, saying they, they, they can't wait for the result, you know, start to... Oh. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, uh, once we get it, this one uh, uh, get uh, boiling, we need to cut uh, green chili. Okay. Okay, for garnish. So about the same time as uh, Chef Shafiq saying, uh, put a lot of boys boiling uh, green chili for the garnish. And then yes. Fried shallots and... Uh, Definitely, we have fresh shallot. Yeah. And we need to have a calamansi. Okay. Huh? The chili. So. Okay. Yes. Any questions from the audience? Want to ask? Uh, for now, not really yet. So. It has to be green chili or can, can you use uh, red chili? Okay, for mirabos, yes, this is special about mirabos. Okay. okay, I did try uh, eat mirabos with the red chili. Mm -hmm. Cannot go. Okay. <laughs> People say cannot go. If this with the green chili, marvelous. Ah. Uh. So is there, is, okay. is there any any reason so if you just tell me what, what would be the different that you say that you find the different of red and green the flavors that you say yes and then also i have a soft egg hard egg uh, i i did try last time uh, i did this mirror balls i cooked like uh, mi bandung all right so that the yeah. uh, mi bandung uh, when you break it, the eggs inside, I mean the mirabos, the flavor is not really uh, uh, blend well, mm -hmm. you know. So that's why I using this uh, hard boiled egg. But the boiled okay. egg, I, I like it to make it about six minutes uh, boiled egg enough. So they still have a uh, running running eggs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, camera, camera, okay. Yeah, okay, camera. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Time to put a little bit of salt. All right. So the boiled egg. Uh, if if someone you know some some people they they won't want to go for a slightly uh, soft egg. Is it fine to go for a hard boiled egg? Can. Boiled egg can 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 definitely can. If now also people change, they're using fried eggs. Ah, all right. You no. Know? This. this. <laughs> Uh, the Something. style, new style, yeah. new norm. <laughs> so we have uh, Kamima saying, I guess the red chili will just blend with the color of the gravy as well. Yeah, maybe because the yes. gravy is red and then the chili is green, so it, it kind of uh, harmonized. Mm. Nice, nice, a little bit of uh, salt. Okay. And I believe I need one more uh, pieces of uh, gula melaka. Gula melaka. So it's always uh, important while going through cooking, almost at the end, check all the seasoning again. Yes. Balance it up again. 
as you put the tamarind earlier, Chef Bob. Uh, so now is your gravy like is it, is it sour sour or is just nice because it's kind of balanced out with the the, the yeah. It just need to be a balance with this uh, uh sweetness of uh sugar malacca and uh, sweet potato. Okay. I don't put so much and a thick uh, tamarind juice. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, the flavor miserable it becomes sour. Okay. So it just need to be a balance. Okay. It's just to have that that umami savory to it, right? You don't want it yes. to be too sour. If some some people also and they you can you guys can put this uh, beef cube. Okay. If the stock is not really uh, powerful, mm -hmm. you can use a beef cube. You can add inside. So do, do you do you recommend uh, the the gravy? Uh, do you think if it's the second day, if you keep it for the next day, will, will it be more better, or do you recommend that? Oh yes, the yeah. next day the flavor because the beef is there because all this one, uh, the sweet potato, the galangal, the ginger, the um, lemongrass is all blend together for one day inside. Okay. So the next day, even you can eat with the. Uh, bread, a piece of bread, like a nice. cholet, like that, you know. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let me taste. Mm. Wow, <laughs> my god, <laughs> that's the that's style. If kitchen you try is nice, they just yeah. Finish. Throw it uh, the, oh, the okay. spoon. <laughs> wow, it's wonderful. Okay, finish, done, everything. All right. So, time for, for me to uh, put it in the bowl for preparation. Okay. Uh, noodles that I've been blanched already. I put it inside here. Okay. Okay. We have uh, uh, Gatul saying uh, from Nibong Tebal with love. <laughs> what is it? Uh, you have a view from uh, Nibong Tebal. Nibong Tebal, who is it? Uh, I, I lost the name earlier. Uh, for Rabiatul, Rabiatul Nazri. Oh, Rabiatul Nazri, yeah. I'm not sure who is it, but uh, thank you for Dayang watching. Adnin. Yeah, I think CC from Dayang Adnin, okay. Oh. This is friends of Dayang and then it's my sister uh, friends. Okay, okay, okay. See, you have everyone start okay. to follow your cooking, yeah. Okay, yes, the beef now. that I boiled just now, I slice it. Okay. To make to put it on the top later on. So this uh, yeah. meat, what what particular part that you use for? From you can use a, a normal uh, sirloin part or tenderloin part, or you can use a brisket, mm -hmm. but it's need to take a long uh, boil it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for for the biscuit. Okay. All right. So, and let me try test uh, another one. Okay. Another Just to make sure. Spoon. Just to make sure. Okay. To, to make sure. <laughs> this time, maybe the spoon will fly out of uh, the door. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Tastes nice. As, uh, now it's the time uh, to set up. You know what? One of our our mentor, Chef Sabri uh, Hassan, he would say "wonderba" after he did "wonderba," 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 yeah, "wonderba," <laughs> "wonderba." Okay, so you can put uh, hold slowly. Chimit saying uh, "happy belated birthday, Chef." Uh, yeah, so for oh, all thank you, people, Chef Bob uh, celebrated his birthday. I think yesterday was it? Was it yesterday? Yeah, uh, on the Saturday. Ah, uh, day before yesterday. Yes. So yeah, happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow, the, the, the Let shank. me show it to oh, you. It shank, yeah. What is some the all the you the sauce? So now, now your serving is good for how many people, Chef Bob? <laughs> this one you can serve for five to six people. Okay, okay. I using a big bowl. Okay. So, so let me decorate uh, it a bit. All right. So that, that's one uh, follower saying using udang geragau for your... Ah, uh, udang geragau. Okay. People can see it. <laughs> okay. 
I put yeah, it on top here so people can see. You can see, right? So, yeah. Love nice. it. So, the beef is here on top. Okay. Uh, so, I put it. The eggs. Little bit of a uh, uh, bean sprout that I've been blanched. Yeah. And then give me the spring onion. Okay, this is green chili. Yeah. Don't forget the bean curd. That was the, the bean curd is up to you. Yeah. You want to cut cube or you want to cut slice? Mm -hmm. Also can. You're you, you've already pre-fried them, right? Earlier? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh Shabob, um we have Lisa from Germany. Yeah, she's asking uh, what is gearbox again? Yeah. Okay. The gearbox actually is coming from the uh, if a beef they have beef shank. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's part of the uh, leg. If a lamb, it's gonna be lamb shank lah. They're the one with the big. So why I call it the gearbox? Because uh, it look like uh, if the engine car, yeah. the, the gearbox which will uh, bring out from the car, that's look like the gearbox inside. So yeah. the look like we can hold it the gear. <laughs> ah, so that is the reason is. So yeah, okay. Chef, uh, Chef Joe is asking again uh, for that whole bowl now. You're serving for how many people again? This one for five to six people can eat nice. because they have two bo two bone here. Nice. So you can serve right. it in the middle of the table, share it for the whole the whole group, the whole family. Oh yes. Yeah. They are waiting in front here. <laughs> <laughs> you can also serve it uh, individual. So. If it's individual, you will serve the whole bone for one person. Do you? I mean, uh, for actually, the, the whole bone. Yeah. <laughs> if big size like this, yeah, uh, it's one bone like this. You can keep uh, for two people, two or three people. Uh -huh. Yeah. So cut uh, this. Everyone spring is, onion. Uh, everyone is waiting for. To, to try, you know, <laughs> it looks uh, amazing from here. Chef Joe say, uh, no cheese, please. All right, don't put cheese. Oh, oh don't put cheese, please. <laughs> please, no cheese. Please. <laughs> okay, and then fried shallot. So, okay, B robot gearbox, chef Bob style is ready. I just put a little bit on, on okay. top here. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go, Renee. Ah, oh, nice, amazing. Wow. So, so yes. all you can see. Wow. I, I, I wish I, I can have some right now. You know, it's, it's my lunch time. It's just I, right for I, the dog lunch time now. <laughs> I forgot. Norm, normally, people in Malaysia, yeah. if you don't eat the 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 gear box, the shank, yeah. they have a straw. Ah, okay. So. So we put straw here to get all this, uh, what marrow. we call this? Uh, the bone marrow. Yeah, bone marrow, yeah. Marrow, bone marrow. So you can just suck it inside. Wow. Ah. <laughs> That's the addition to it. Wow. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So, so gout people, get ready. Yeah. <laughs> gout people, you have to put uh, the gear box on the side. You just enjoy on the, <laughs> the gravy. Okay, but still with the gravy, uh, all, all the flavors is already there. So just get your medicine maybe. <laughs> so... Uh, there's a question from uh, the viewer. Uh, peanuts. Do you put peanuts in it? Yes, we, we did put, right? Yes, okay. I put the uh, peanuts, uh, roasted peanut. Yeah. You just, if you have a using, we have a, a skin, you need to remove the skin. Okay. And then you grind it. You blend it, you grind it uh, until it uh, become uh, very fine, a bit fine, not paste, mm -hmm. uh, very fine. Just put it together, you saute it together with the, uh, the the things that I be blend earlier with okay. chili, uh, onion, uh, garlic, galangal, lemongrass earlier. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Uh, we oh, still have viewers. This is my version. Yeah. So don't forget to try at home. Yeah. So now everyone can, you know, wait for the uh, recipe to come out on uh, our Emacs Series 5. Okay. But oh. still, you can still uh, replay the video after this. Right. After you finish off, uh, who miss out? Even we have some of the viewers about who just uh, came in right now saying hello, hi. Uh, maybe they missed the whole, uh, 
you know, for the whole, almost the whole hour, they can always replay, yep. tag us. All right, Chef Bob is going to go in now. He's going to try for us. He's going See, to let us me try the doodles together, yeah? Yeah. See. Ah, I put here a little bit. I get this uh, the soup noodles. I still have a little bit of uh, uh, bean sprout, the eggs, the chili, wow. fried shallot. I slice a little bit of beef. I cut it small. It's easy for me to eat. So, so this is uh, in the small version. Yeah. So that's, let that's me try it. Uh, a tasting version. All right. That's yeah. The <laughs> hmm. Wow. My God, guys. Everyone saying you it's should delicious. Try yeah. this. <laughs> I should open the restaurant earlier. You should, you should. I mean, you know, then uh, <laughs> can come in uh, try Chef Bob's version of uh, Mira Post with Gearbox. You know, uh, then maybe he will turn out with the, the next version. Uh, the next week he will change using an oxtail, uh, ox tongue, Mira Post, right? <laughs> you can change this uh, uh, Gearbox, this beef shank, with oxtail also. All right. I nice. did try. Okay. Also can. <laughs> I like I like oak still a lot, yeah. Oh yeah, can be tried. So Very for nice. all the viewers again, all right, uh, tune in. You can always uh, who just again uh, tune in. You can always go back replay, uh, see how Chef Bob prepare his uh, mirror boost today. Okay, uh, wait for also if you want to wait, you can wait for the Emac uh, five to come out. Uh, log in with us. Say Chef Bob just enjoy his mirror boost. Let us uh, <laughs> read it. Uh, we are all jealous uh, now, Chef Bob. Okay. Oh. Chef Joe, if you're near here, you can come here to pick it up one bone here. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Joe will call you up and uh, pass by. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody's uh, dying for your food, Chef Bob. That's another amazing <laughs> I'm going to have to. I'm going to actually have to go back and watch the replay because I think it's appearing for Noah. I have to go and watch the replay and learn how to make this before the. E I don't think I can wait till Emac Five for this to come out. <laughs> I send you the recipe later on, yeah. Yeah, right, cool. Yeah, everybody's going to attempt your recipe now, Chef Bob. So thank you so much, guys, for catching this and another amazing recipe. Don't you guys think? Isn't it amazing? Look, that uh, there are other people doing like lockdown cook-alongs and stuff like that right but our group is the one with the exclusive chefs who usually charge thousands of dollars for cooking demos with you believe in real life so i think we are all very very fortunate to be able to catch all these amazing chefs like renee and chef bob like chef johari and everybody else in our momc universe uh, to be able to watch all this live as well so make sure you take full advantage of this and share this around to people who will be interested in learning how to cook malaysian food the way professional Malaysian chefs do it. All right, guys. Um, thank you again so much, uh, Chef Bob. And thank you so much, Rene, for doing Welcome. the hosting gig as usual. And guys, uh, thanks again uh, for tuning in. And we will see you in a couple of hours, this time around with Liam Ghani from the themuddledpantry.com. Liam, also Malaysian, based in South Africa. He's going to actually be stepping in to cook one of Chef Norman Musa's recipes from his cookbook. It's a Mickey Chup, all right? So we look forward to seeing you in about two hours plus. And um, yeah, and um, Chef Dave, our vegan Chef Dave, who's always really funny, is <laughs> going to be co-hosting. So guys, we're going to bump out again with another Tourism Malaysia clip. And we see, we'll see you back here in a couple of hours. And don't forget to download our email as well, all right? MalaysianChefs.com. All right, guys. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll see thank you, you bye. 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 Ha, ha, ha.